Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Space Engineers. This is my scrap survival series. So we are here in our little treehouse that we found on the last episode. So this is uh, the big clearing that we found it up here on top of this mountain. Actually got some pretty good views. So I just did a little bit of remodeling up here. I put me an actual clean bed in right here. And then I actually have me a uh, cargo input right here. So this is the interface block up here on this top. And then of course we have the steps. These are still going down here. I did put a railing down here, so I don't have to worry about falling down. I can't find a railing to put right here at this time, so we'll worry about that later. So this is the cargo that goes up there to the top. I've unloaded the truck, so we got our thrusters we found before, and then our hydrogen tanks and our computers and stuff. Our two gyros are over here, plus the other stuff. I have the buggy over here charging up. So I have redone the cargo container here on the truck. I need to re-put all this back together. So the connector is actually tucked in a little bit more. I actually got to move the truck over so we can get it connected. All right, so I got the connector connected back up. Let's keep the batteries getting charged up here. So this is everything all hooked up to here to the base. So we had some more signals that we were trying to find last time. They're back down there on the lake, which is back towards that way. I'm going to have to try to find a direct run down and uh, probably try to make me some type of road to get up here. Especially if we'll have to be driving in the dark and have to get around these trees. So uh, that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to take the buggy down there also so I can get some ice and uh, get the engine and everything started up here in the buggy and that might help charge the battery up some more so let me come over here and grab the buggy real quick well, let's head out that way we'll make our a little road on our way down Alright, so I made a little path going the other way. It just stayed along the top of the hills over here. So I definitely know this way will send me back down towards the lake. So let me try to make a path down this way. Maybe I can actually get to the lake and get some ice. And then uh, the sun might be coming up by then. So let me cut this path out real quick. All right, there was an unknown signal right here, so let me grab it real quick. See what we got. It'll be the first unknown signal for this episode. I got a lava suit. Oh, there we go. I'll take that any day. I don't think I've gotten a lava suit before. So let me tear this down. I've been adding every block every half a K. Oh, I didn't get it in time. At least I got the suit. Shouldn't have been talking. But I've been adding a little tower every uh, 0.5Ks down the hill here. I uh, might put some little batteries or something on it later with some lights just kind of as a pathway marker. But uh, I've been trying to stay on a straight line here so hopefully I got it pretty straight. I've been clearing out kind of a big area of trees so... Should just be able to get right on this track and then head tra straight towards the base without having to worry about any trees. Unless they spawn back, which I hope they don't. Well, let me finish clearing this out and get down there to the lake. We should be down there pretty soon. I know when I made that 5k marker down there, we were way onto the lake. So hopefully we'll be there in a little bit. 
We made it down here to the lake. We're uh, 2.5 k's away from here, so I picked me a double tower. So this is kind of like where the road goes. And then once we get to here and just line up with the base GPS, we should be able to be uh, able to go up there without hitting any trees in the way. So let's come on down here and get some ice, and then we'll head back up. Again, I'm definitely going to need to put some small batteries and maybe a solar panel. If I did get some solar cells. So a small battery with a solar panel right here on each side, and I might put a light up here. That way we can know where this entrance is. And in fact, I'll put a GPS right here too. At least here on the beach, these trees aren't that bad, and I'm pretty sure I could almost run most of these over because they're smaller. Especially if I got some speed. Like that. Well, that's unfortunate. I left my drill up there on the base. But uh, let me mark this as the ice spot. So we just come back through here. Go back through these two towers. And just head straight. And we shouldn't have any problems. This tree. Don't remember it being here. Let me grab it real quick. Alright. Looks like the trees definitely aren't coming back. So that's a good thing. We're almost up to the base. And I do got this tree here I want to get rid of. These branches that'll come out, that'll get you. If I have anything tall on the back of the truck, I'll get caught up on it. So I want to make sure I get the clearance that I need to do that. All right, I made it up here. Let me grab that. Let me grab that drill so I can get me some ice. All right, let's head on back down. Should have a better straight shot down now. All right, I got a couple loads of ice, so let's head on back up to the base. It looks like the sun might be coming up soon. So we'll get our other truck and then uh, start heading out some more and try to find us some scrap. All right, got the buggy here hooked up, all ready to go. These hydrogen tanks are actually filled up. And we got some ice up here for the H2O2 generator for that to run. So if we need any extra power, we have it there. I never took this thruster off. Let me grab this off real quick. All right, so let's head on out. See if we can't find any scrap. The sun's starting to come up, so that's a good thing. All right, we made it down here on the beach. So let's head out onto the lake and hopefully something will pop up soon. All right, I got some up here that said about 2.9 kilometers this way. So let's head off this way. Starting to see something in the distance down there. Can't tell what it is yet. It's so about another one and a half k's away from it. It must be pretty big if I could see it this far back. So let's keep heading that way. Maybe we'll uh, get something good here. We really needed some more wind turbines so we could get our power up and we need a large battery. Those are some of the major things we're trying to look for now, but any type of extra scrap and motors and stuff like that is always helpful too. It's tall, whatever it is, but I don't see any wind turbines on it. Looks like a pipe section. I was hoping a little bit more than this. At least it's something right now. We can scrap this, see what's in it. Duster, conveyor, consorter. It's got some small steel tubes in it. But besides that, not really much anything. So let me just scrap this down. And then we'll keep on heading out and see what else we can find. Alright, let's keep on heading out. We're heading more out towards the lake. So uh, hopefully something else will pop up. Just keep my eye out here. Alright, I gotta spawn back this way about 3.6k. So let's head back it towards it. Alright, we got something showing up here. We're about 1.5 k's out. See something off in the distance there. Can't tell what it is yet. We'll be there soon. All right, we're about 500 meters out. Closing. It's like a truck. See a cargo container. Oh, there's a bike. There's some type of motorcycle. It's got some small batteries in them. I do need those. It's kind of neat. And then we have a truck over here. There's a gyroscope. Connector. We got another hydrogen tank. So we do have this gyro here. We really don't need it, but we can grab it. It's easy to grab. We can throw it back here in the back of the truck. We got some small steel tubes in the axles here. Take those. This one was pretty much built. 
We'll grind this down, hack it real quick. Got anything in it? Yeah, there's a little bit in it, so I can drain this into the truck. So we'll let that fill up. See what we got here with the bike. There's a cargo container back here. I've got some metal grids. Definitely take those. So I'm gonna need those batteries so we can start heading, putting lights and stuff up for our trail back up to the base. So we'll grab it. All right, let's keep on going out and see what we can find. I'm gonna he keep heading in the, this direction. I don't know if that was what I was seeing down here, but it might have been. But let me keep on going. If anything pops up, I'll let you know. All right, I had something five. Whoa, five Ks back this way. I'm doing the power slide. I don't know exactly how far this way it was. We'll set us a GPS. We do have an unknown signal down here too, so might just check that out also. All right, got the unknown signal here. Let me go ahead and uh, see what we get. Cow welder. Coming up here, I did see something right over here. Go check this out real quick. I know we're not at the distance we need to be from there. Oh, we're close. So this might be it that I saw. So let's come down here and see what this was. Since I can see it 2Ks out and it looks pretty big. I don't see any uh, wind, wind turbines though. Still a large battery would be nice. Let's see what we get when we get up here. Okay, it does look like there's a wind, wind turbine on that. It's another little uh, tree house. This one looks a little bit weirder. It's not as tall. I'm definitely going to take that wind turbine, but let's see what else is up in there. Plus another porta potty. Outhouse. We have another outhouse here. We could get rid of it. I could use these blocks for when we're building up our base anyways. Right, so this one's on, up on concrete pillars. Missing a section of the ladder though. But we definitely need to get that wind turbine, but our buggy won't be able to reach up to it. So we're going to have to bring it down anyways. So let's just bring this whole thing down. Inventory full. There we go. I mean, a building like this would probably be neat to take, but I don't have any way at all to carry anything like this. So we'll just have to scrap it out. I right, still can't get into it. So let's bring it down one more. Oh, oh, getting attacked here. Let me just see if there's anything in it before I start destroying the floor here. Okay, we have a bed. A desk. Bathroom. So other than that, I don't see any type of in inventory. We can just scrap this out, get the motors and stuff we need from in here. And then we can get that turbine, put it in the truck, take that with us. That'll definitely be helpful. Now we just need to figure out a way to put it up on our base, too. That before it crushes me. Got it. You might keep the block that it's on underneath it. That way I can merge it onto stuff easier. So let's get the buggy out here and then if we can't get that loaded onto the back of the truck. All right, so let's see if we can't pick this sucker up. Hopefully it's not too heavy. All right, we got it locked here, so hopefully we can pick it up. Oh yeah, we can pick it up. Let's go load this on the truck. Taking up quite a few of our spots, but should be locked on with that one lock. We still got a little bit of room here left on the back, but it looks like it took up both the front four. But we at least got us a windmill. There's a one there, so uh, let's keep driving around and see what else we can get. I gotta hook this back up here real quick. All right, so let's head on out, see what else we can find. The only bad thing about having this sticking up so high like that on the back of the truck, I can't get in the third person the right way that I need to be. You go sideways like this. At least we're out here on the lake. I'm not worried about running into anything. So hopefully something else will pop up here and then uh, just keep on trucking. Yeah, I think I see something over here in the distance. So we're gonna head that way to see what that is. 
Don't know how far away it is. It might be closer to the island over there. But if I can see it far this far away, then it's definitely something big. There's definitely something there. It looks like there's smoke coming off of it. I'm not picking it up with anything yet, though. I think that's smoke coming off of it. There's something definitely on the top of it like that. Yeah, it's smoking. So let's come see what this is. Just wondering why we don't have any type of signal or radar on it. It's on fire or whatever it is. Oh, now we do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's definitely on fire. Anybody in there? Your place is on fire. The stove's on fire. Lights are kind of out of sync also. Got anything in these? Can't get into them. Is there a battery somewhere in here? There's a transparent LCD. We got some desk here. And some more lights. Seems like there's some type of power in here. So I wonder where there's a battery at. Again, this would be neat to take home too. A nice little building. It's a little small too. So let me go ahead and just grind this down. Because I could use the plates in it. See if there's a battery in here somewhere. Alright, got that all grinded out. So let's keep on going around. See what else we can find. Hate that there wasn't actually anything in there. But uh, stuff like that happens. I right, got another thing, 5, 520 behind us, 530, still staying there, I'm surprised it didn't move away, it's still staying there, so let's go check this out, it looks pretty big also, alright, I can still see it, right off in that direction, it does look pretty big, sun's starting to go down, so we'll probably have to head home soon, so hopefully we can at least get something, I mean, we do have this wind turbine, so that's a good plus. We could work on building that at night when we get back up there. But I'd still like to have a battery as uh, to help charge everything up a little bit quicker. Cargo containers is always helpful. I think it's some type of building. Coming in hot. Alright, so it looks like some type of garage. And then another building behind it. Yep, definitely a garage. It's got a connector in it. We do have a cargo container back here, and there's a door here. There's a battery. So we got a cargo container and a battery. Nothing in the cargo container. We'll take this battery. That's one thing we've been looking for. It's going to probably fill up our truck, too, putting both of these things in there. But having another cargo container around the base is going to help. It's going to be interesting how we're going to get this stuff back home. This would be another building I wouldn't mind taking. What do we got in this one? Another battery. So we'll get this stuff loaded up somehow and then head back to the base since it's getting dark. There's a lot to grind down right here though. I got both batteries cut out and I got the cargo container cut out. So let me go ahead and get this stuff loaded up. So we're gonna try to load everything up. We might have enough room back here. Let me grab this gyroscope, get it out of the way. I'm gonna grab this battery first and sit out here. No one I'll worry about the ones that are in there. Alright, got that one on there. Let's see if we can't stick the next one on top of it, but I don't know if the tower is gonna to get in the way. Got that on there, not exactly where I wanted it, but it should be fine. Might be able to put the cargo container on top of the other cargo container. Kinda in the same way. Alright, I stuck a mag plate up there, so I should just be able to lift this up. Got everything on the truck. We just need to load this back in and then take a slow ride back up to the base and start getting this stuff loaded onto the base. It don't help that it's raining and dark. All right, I got everything out of that. So let's head on out. We got a lot of weight and a lot of big stuff here, but uh, should be able to do okay with it. I'm worried about getting up that hill. I'm gonna have to drive like this because it's definitely gonna be hard to drive third person. 
but the entrance should be right this way. So slowly we'll head there and uh, head back up to the base and get this stuff unloaded. All right, I made it up on the beach here. So I just need to find the entrance because I'm not trying to go driving through these woods again. All right, finally made it up to the base. Start unloading some of this stuff off. Looks like we kind of damaged us a little bit on the way up here. We were hitting trees with the wind turbine and a couple of this other stuff, so it kind of knocked us around. So we're going to work with uh, the batteries first, I think. Kind of get them off the back of here. So let's get this one, these two off. Well, it's good news to know that this thing can kind of drive with both batteries on here. But where do I want to put these batteries at? I might put one right here in this corner. I can stick it, I guess, right underneath this support right here. Stick another one underneath this support. Try that. If I went ahead and hack the battery, that way I don't have to try to do that or it messes up my base. So let's go ahead and pick this up and try to stick that in that, can that corner. need to somehow merge block it up here what's up there on that floor I guess I have to destroy it so yeah it should be okay if I need to destroy this floor right here all right so I got one battery in let's go ahead and load up the other battery I want to put it on the other side like I did with that one if I can actually do this one a little bit differently. That one there like that. Well, I don't have to destroy the floor. Alright, got this battery unlocked. Let's go set it over here in this section. Go ahead and put this merge block on in here before I get too far up in here. Alright, I got it on there. Let me go ahead and put a block in under here too though. To help support it. Oh, not that one. That'll help keep it supported up and in place. I might need to just put a block here too, just to make sure everything stays connected. There we go. So that way it's actually connected to the grid. Then I can get rid of those. I guess I could kind of keep those same supports that we got on the other sides. Just to kind of even it out. There we go. Two batteries then, so we're looking good. I know they don't match, but that's uh, fine. These are supposed to be a, every scrap stuff put together. So now I got to get the uh, find a place for the wind turbine. Because I don't want to stick it up there. We're going to have to build a whole new place for it. And then another place for that cargo box. Which might go right here on top. Can't put it there because that's there. I mean, I can technically put it there. It's on this side. And then I got the two hinges on either side. It'd be nice if I could stick it up there on top, but I don't know if I'd be able to. All right, let's see if we can't get it over here in this location. Should be able to squeeze that in there. I just need to get the merge blocks on it here. Build this back together here. Be able to put our stairs back up. There we go. So now we got two cargo containers over here ready to go. We got two batteries. We have one wind turbine, so we'll need to set up the other wind turbine. And I might put it this way, kind of make me a garage right here. That way I can send this over. So let's get this truck out of the way. Because it's kind of flat right here. I don't know if I want to make it up. Kind of make a ramp to go up here to get it out of this grass. Kind of have it out this far. Maybe a little bit further. I don't know how high I can actually get that up on here too. So I might have to just keep raising. Bring it, raise it up, bring it, raise it up, bring it, raise it up. So let me go ahead and uh, try this real quick.
Oh, I got it tipped over. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up here. Just off just a little bit. Wonder if, got it. Now we just need to raise this up some more. Now if we just raise it up as high as I can go. I need to add some more blocks to the bottom of this. That's one, two, three, four, five. We can go up higher. That one will be seven. Should I chance it up any higher than this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like to do eight. All right, let's merge these together. There we go. All right, we got this. Now let's put in our extra block down here. Connect all that together. Go ahead and just weld that one down just to make sure. There we go. Oh, I never. Took over that block, did I? Oh boy. Let's see if I can't use this to get up there. Go ahead and hack this real quick. Inventory full. There we go. That's the stuff. Now let's see if I can get back up on here without killing myself. Oh, that was close. That's how I'm gonna have to weld that up. I'm not too worried about that right now. So let's go get this stuff parked so we can get it charged up. Oh, we only have 4% charge left in that battery. So it's a good thing we came over here and charged it up. But let's go ahead and get the truck moved over. Get it charged up so we can get the stuff out of it. Okay, quite a bit of space credits. Nowhere to really spend it. We have our two plushies still. We need to find a place to put them. Other than that, we look pretty good on materials. We have quite a bit of motors and small steel tube we only have three large steel tubes so that's going to be one of the things we're going to need to start looking for we have a bunch of eyes okay, we got a couple more large steel tubes okay so we're doing better with that we're still going to need to find us some so that's probably going to be it for this episode hope you enjoyed it we got us some batteries and another wind turbine so now we should be pumping up a lot more power and we should be able to get these vehicles charged up a little bit faster I still want to find more buildings to add up in here. We started building this little spot right here where we're going to have probably our storage area or it might be a garage since the grass is poking through. I really don't want to move it up another one because it'll be lined up with that one. But of course, that might be something we can do and then we'll need to make a ramp or we just might push it all the way out to here and this the ramp will come in. But uh, we'll work more on that next time. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great week and we'll see you next time.